back into this championship. Lori Heinen with 1,045 horsepower. Dodge NASCAR supercharged V8. And he's on one here from the start. He certainly is, Dave. Well, he knows he has to be because he wants to get that championship. Oh, and he goes very close to the wall there. Now he's going to tag that wall. He's going for the exclamation mark. He knows what the judges want. That was a brave transition into our side zone four as he puts the car, parks it onto the wall, looks for it, the flick back, gets it timed perfectly, runs the wall, absolutely nails this S13 to every single wall. That is phenomenal from Laurie Heinen. got a disperse of Timor Lipsky from the off. This is getting dramatic, right? And look at Timor Lipsky, he doesn't care. He's going straight for it here. Unbelievable chase run so far from Timor Lipsky. All the championship hopefuls are being discarded by all of these up-and-comers. Well, this is the weekend to make your move, Dave. If you want to make a name in the championship, why not get rid of every single championship contender in the round five, right before we head to the biggest event in the world. And look at this from Lipsky. He gets on the door and he says to Lahaina, and I don't care. He's into that 16, he automatically jumps away up in the championship and it opens the championship back up again but look at this from the young Ukrainian as he fires that brand new A90 carbon Kevlar Supra to the wall and tries to start to open up a bit of separation but Heinen's going to play the long game here he's going to wait for the transition into that long outside zone and he does and now he starts to make a rain starts to get onto the door they transition back but Heinen misplaces the car and now he's going to have to work really hard to get back onto the door as he works his way in and that door to cross the line See how intense it is inside the car. Laser focused is Laurie Heinlein. And they come off the line, screwing through the gears. But McKeever's not going to let him get away. Two Nissan 200 sexes go battle head to head right now as they go for the wall. But look at this McKeever not letting Laurie Heinlein get away. Oh, big transition from McKeever as he almost takes a back end of Laurie Heinlein's S13. They go wall to wall, wall to wall again across the circuit. But McKeever loses some ground. Heinlein opens the throttle of that Pro Charge V8 and screams in McKeever's face. He must be feeling the heat. He's got to go for it here. The Finnish fans hold their breath as Heinen chases in the keeper. Oh, oh. And something. Maybe a false start there. Maybe a false start. Heinen, went, once he overtook the keeper, went. That's a little too aggressive, Heinen. The, the Heinen went to initiate. He fully clutch kicked the car. Oh, and, and McKeever throws his arm out the window as if to say, I can't believe it. Red, green, and here we go. Yeah, here we go for the gears. They go. And Laurie Heinen already starting to fly away. He rips down, bangs the back bumper off the wall. A new hover in the side of that yellow and purple. 180 SX, but he's shallow and he nearly makes a mistake. Checks himself up on the inside as Laurie Heinen gets into the wall on outside zone four. Absolutely door to door business as they absolutely fight this one out too for now. All the way around. Rinden gets onto the door once again across the line. Wow, and, Rind and he's so close where he can take a bigger risk here. And if he pulls it off, he'll win this battle. But easier said than done. It certainly is easier said than done. And now separation on initiation once again as Laurie Heinden gives Rinden the room to manoeuvre. Rittenden goes wide, looks for the wall. Laurie Heinen gives him the room. No dangerous transitions now. Heinen starts to reel him in. He knows he needs to get the job done here on the second half of the circuit. Heinen doesn't want to get left in a cloud of smoke. And he goes wide once again. Rittenden wheels over the white line. And Laurie Heinen on the door across the line. I don't know, Dave. That is too close for me. A big statement. Head off the line. Here we go. Through the gears they go. Shanahan won't want to let Laurie Heinen get away right now as Heinen fires down to outside zone. Connor Shanahan onto the wheel, onto the front wheel, onto the door. He's all over the side of that yellow and purple S13. They transition across the circuit. Heinen is an absolutely pinpoint perfect. And look at Shanahan though, not an inch between them as they come across the circuit into outside zone five. Shanahan wants this more than ever. He wants to be the leader of the championship and Heinen absolutely nails it. A minute going. I don't even want any part of this. They are going to war here on track as Shanahan now leads it. Heinen. Yeah, look at this. Heinen doesn't want to let him get away. He tags him on initiation. Oh, and he messes himself up massively. Heinen throws himself out of competition. And Conor Shanahan looks across and says, well, you know what? That's how it happens. I told you, this is what's going to happen, Ian. I'm not saying I, I want to say I told you so. It looks but they went too now, far. Dave. It went too far. Someone was going to push too far. And it looked to me like Heinen tried to get too greedy on the run-in. He made the hit. He caused some damage. I'm not sure why he shut down, but something went very wrong. And he knows that Passeur will want that third step on the podium, but Heinen needs it more than anyone right now. They're through the gears down. Big initiation from both guys. Passeur looks for the side. And Heinen's S13 
seen as they fire through the first three outside zones, contact onto the front wheel as they now transition into that long outer zone. And you can see Pursuit still hunting down the side of Laurie Heinen and S13. He goes to the wall, he gets there clinically. The Pursuit is with him, he's on the side, he's on the door, he's all over him. Pursuit is in the lead, it's Estonia versus Finland, and Pursuit is ready to party. Yeah, look at this. Pursuit absolutely hunting down the outside line. He goes for the wall. The Laurie Heinen's with him. He won't make that mistake that he made before. Now he dives across the track into that long outside zone. They go wheel to wheel. Heinen tucks up right up onto the front wheel with Kevin Pursuit's BMW as they transition down into the last outside zones. A little separation. Heinen and squeezes the front wheel and applies the pressure. Oh, that's very good from Laurie Heinen. Very, very good. Like he stayed with him the whole track.